हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर फाइव दैट इज मार्फोलॉजी ऑफ रूट स्टेम एंड लीफ सो इन प्लांट किंगडम ड्यूरिंग चैप्टर थर्ड यू ऑल्सो हैव सीन अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ प्लांट बट इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल go through detailed about the morphology of root stem and leaf so in this chapter we will especially talk about the angiospermic plant only so first thing what is the meaning of morphology morphology means the external appearance or external structure of plants their form arrangement and relationship of organs it is called as plant morphology but it called as plant morphology so plant body it is made up of two parts one is known as vegetative and second one is known as reproductive organs so vegetative organs are involved in functions like uh, nutrition and growth nutrition and growth of plant body while reproductive organs are concerned with multiplication and continuation of species continuation of species so uh, let's talk about the vegetative part so first thing what are the vegetative parts of the plant so uh, they are roots stem leaves it constitute the vegetative organs root form the root system stem form the stem and leaves together they form the shoot system the root system is generally underground part and uh, there is a main root and their lateral branches and it is the descending organ and positively geotropic so that is the root system and then shoot system it has stem and leaves together so in a stem there is a birds flowers fruits etc so you can say these all include the shoot system which is form the aerial part of the plant means it is not underground it is above the ground above the ground its major function is support and conduction
it provide base to the plant uh, it provide nutrition to the plant it provide water to the plant and this provide support and conduction to the plant so there is also leaves there so it helps in the process of uh, photosynthesis and uh, for making food so i am not going uh, into detail about their metabolic process just come to the uh, reproductive part reproductive part so flower is the reproductive part of the plant and it is often uh, called as modified shoot and a typical flower consists of outer whorls outer whorls called as accessory or helping whorls so uh, what are the accessory means accessory means they help in the process of reproduction so these are calyx and corolla calyx is a group of sepals which is mostly green in color and uh, corolla is a group of petals so i can uh, show you one diagram by which you can understand it better see here you can see here this is root system and which is underground and this hole is the shoot system see this is main root and these are the lateral roots these are the root hair zone then come here this is stem there is nodes from where the leaf arises and then uh, between the two nodes like this and this there is a portion called as internode this is branch main stem and this is vegetative buds which is grown in the axil of the leaves these are the leaves then see here this is the floral bud bud fruit this plant is actually the mustard sarsu plant and these are the flowers so come to the part uh, this is the reproductive part when we just cut the section of the flower we can see that this is the pedicel thalamus above the thalamus there is ovary see this swollen part this is ovary these are the ovule which will make the seed and this is stigma this is the style this is style this is these are the stamens uh, also called as andresium male reproductive part andresium is made up of stamens this is anther this is filament and this is called as pistil or corpel and carpel is made up of uh sorry gynecium is made up of carpels so this is andresium the male reproductive part and gynecium that is the female reproductive part also called as stamen also called as carpel or pistil see these uh, are the colored portion uh, in this book this is black and white actually uh, so 
these are the what these are the petals and group of petal is called as corolla so then there is a calyx okay i am showing you this diagram see here you can understand it better here that petals anther filament stigma style ovary ovules receptacles or thalamus these form the pistil this form the stem and group of petal is called as corolla group of sepal is known as calyx this is anther filament when you cut the anther like this you can see there are so many pollen grains in the pollen sacs and this is filament so i think uh, this must be very clear to you to understand the concept of what is the reproductive part of the flower so come to the next that is uh, root which we were discussing root system root system as i told you that root system is actually the underground part or organ and most other vascular plants like gymnosperms and pteridophytes uh, there is also uh, this part is underground and the root system develop it develops from the hypocotyl of hypocotyl of the embryo embryo of a seed as you know that male and female gamete they fuse together and form a diploid zygote and this zygote then undergo differentiation to form an embryo and this embryo uh, then differentiate to form uh, epicotyl and hypocotyl uh, uh, you have seen in class 10th like uh, this there is a structure um, this form plumule and this form the radical this this is radical is developed by the hypocotyl of the embryo of the seed and this by uh, epicotyl so this will form the root system and this plumule will form the shoot so the basal end of the hypocotyl that is the radical uh, grows out to form the first or primary root of the plant and this forms the original root system of the seedling in all angiospermic plant in dicotyledonous plant dicot like uh, gram uh, like p in dicotyledonous plant what happen this uh, main root system which is formed by the radical it is survive it is survive listen carefully it is survived but in monocot plant like rice monocot plant like rice the main root system dies and it is now replaced by the adventitious adventitious roots so the root is an important basic organ of the plant for the two major function two major function and that is the absorption and fixation 
absorption and fixation where of the plant in the soil so what is the characteristics of root so characteristics are root form the descending organ of the plant axis i told you uh, that is uh, it is normally uh, growing away from the light away from the light and that's why you can call it as negatively phototropic negatively phototropic and towards gravity towards gravity so you can call is positively phototropic sorry geotropic and normally root lacks chlorophyll and that's why they are non green plant and it shows variation in their shape and structure and the branch of roots lateral roots are lateral lateral roots are produced by the pericycle pericycle what is pericycle uh, you will uh, know in the next chapter that is their anatomy of the plant and one more thing that root hairs are unicellular point to remember that root hairs are uh, unicellular root do not bear don't bear buds uh, leaves and flowers they lack nodes and internodes so this is almost all about the root then reason are parts of root this is very much important parts of root so uh, you can just draw like this it is not very perfect but i am just trying to understand you these are the root hairs and this is called as reason of cell maturation then this is the part of reason of cell elongation then the lowest part this is the root cap which help in um, protection and this is called as reason of cell division cell division so reason of cell maturation reason of cell elongation and reason of cell division so there are actually four parts so what is the function of 
root cap so the apex of each root is covered by a cushion like uh, cells known as root cap cushion you know the function of cushion cushion like root cap so root apex is enclosed in this root cap encloses root apex so what is the primary function of root cap obviously it protect the root apex so protection and it also secretes certain substances which help the root in penetrating the soil it secrete some substances which help the root in penetrating the soil that's why it can go deep down in the soil and fix the whole plant system then second is the reason of cell division so you can understand it better you also called as root apical meristem because this is the reason uh, where meristematic cells are present and they are involved in division so it lies just behind the root cap and it is the main growing reason this is the main growing reason of the root where active cell division takes place it is composed of uh, dense cytoplasm dense cytoplasm has a parenchyma cell etc so uh, whatever the region which is which take part in uh, division of the cell it must have uh, so much of cytoplasm and parenchymatous cells then second is the reason of elongation so uh, reason of elongation it has it is characterized by the rapid elongation of cells means the cells uh, grows here more than any uh, any other reason of that particular part so that is called as rapid elongation of cells occur more at that particular part so it is responsible for growth in length of the root growth in length of the root and the last one which is known as reason of maturation it is usually uh, one to several centimeter long and the cells are fully expanded and matured into final form and there is a cylindrical unicellular outgrowth unicellular outgrowth and i explained you earlier what is this these are the root hairs and this is the main absorbing organ of the root
uh, and it is sometimes uh, many more in number uh, present at the per square millimeter so this is called as reason of maturation or this is also called as root hair reason next is types of roots so tap root and adventitious roots tap root what is tap root the root developing directly from the radical directly from the radical it is known as also known as primary root in most of the plant the primary root persists and become stronger to form tap root the root usually produces lateral branches called secondary root lateral branches are called as secondary root and then again uh, like this is primary root these are the secondary root these are the tertiary root so like this the name is here and uh, it grows in acropetal manner acropetal manner do you know what is the meaning of acropetal acropetal means younger branches near the tip and older and longer away from the tip younger near the tip near the tip and older away from the tip away from the tip so this is called as acropetal then adventitious roots uh, adventitious roots are called as the root roots which develop from any part of the plant any part of the plant you can see in money plant and uh, in bryophyllum and so many uh, plant that uh, it can develop from the leaf margin in bryophyllum like this this is also the adventitious and uh, in money plant you can see uh, at the axil of axil point from where this root develop and they can grow in a new plant also so on the basis of nature and development these are also of many types first is fibrous root fibrous roots primary root does not persist for long and it is replaced by a cluster of slender thread like structure slender means thin slender thread like structure so uh, i think you all have seen in wheat um, onion and uh, rice these type of root occur then so there are so much of modification uh, which is given in your ncert book regarding the different types of root and uh, so uh, you learn it from the ncrt and uh, you can see here there is a table that this is tap root adventitious roots then there are so many types in fibrous foliar root true adventitious roots then in modified form there are so many types tuberous fasciculated monally form and then nodulo nodulated prop root still root climbing roots floating epiphytic assimilatory parasitic reproductive so uh, this is all about the 
रूट सिस्टम 